What is up, everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Another Brutal Age video. Just got done with the, the event. Just got done. <laughs> we had a new skin. The video's with, uh, gonna go over the, some of the new stuff that's been happening. Some Brutal Age news. And some expert partner advice. Advice that I've got from other people. So I'm looking at, looking for the newest partner. Uh, Legatus. Look, and I, I mean, I'm telling you, I looked for about... I don't know, 10 minutes at least. Found out that it's not really a partner, it's a skin. During the event, I also partaked and got a legendary partner. The green is Lord. Was thrilled about that. So, got a lot of questions. A lot of people debating on, is it worth it? Because if you look at the bonuses, it, it doesn't look like much. 2% hip, health, hit point. Plus five, 500. Now, People that ask me for beginners, it's probably not worth it for beginners because you're not going to have your, your kernel's not going to be maxed out. But when it comes down to the, the the big players, the ones that are competing at the very top of ranked, it's definitely worth it for them. Every little advantage they can get is is huge. They have maxed out partners, they have maxed out artifacts. So you want to add two percent on top of something that's maxed out, it's pretty big. And the investment that they have to make to get it is pretty big too. You know, this is, a, I hear people complain about the investment, but if it was too easy, then there's a lot of big money players out there. They would just consume every single thing in the game and they'd wipe everyone out with it. So they make it hard for everyone. But just so you know, it, now this event's going to come up again and they wanted the 1500 points, which is 150 of the pumpkin turtles or 750 golden turtles only but the good news is that you'll probably get or you probably got a legendary partner while you're trying to get your new skin and here is this is Jay Acid 323 great player he, I've got at least half the footage I have is from is from him and I can't thank him enough so here's some here's some news we have a, a server merge coming I don't know all the details yet but I know the merge is coming so this is what I think, what I've done in the past, what we've seen in the past. When a merge is coming, make sure two or three of your best players go to the other server. As soon as you know what server you're going to merge with, be quiet and watch them. See what they're, what they're all about. You may have to compete for the server number. I know there's going to be changes this, this, uh, this time around, but you may have to compete for the server number. So there's going to be a competition before you guys merge. Uh, try to come to terms with peace just before you even merge uh, remember that all the servers are going to be stronger with this merge so civil war on your server is not good for you so if you're expecting war or not when the, when the server war happens your server should stop attacking each other immediately during the prep for the merge you, sh you should stop all barbarian wars stop attacking each other you guys are going to have to unite because you, if you don't and the other server's watching you, you're going to be in big trouble. At the time of your merger, the whole server should have a minimum of two week bubble, two week shield. Just be prepared, stop preparing now because two weeks is a long time. Uh, have rules in place for, for temple, for wolves, for the altar events. Uh, they have the most conflict. Have rules in place for you and the other server. You, you've got to communicate with the other server. Your best players should communicate with theirs. If you're in a weaker server, you survive by always hiding your troops, always hiding your resources, stay bubbles as long as you can, only farm on your own tiles, and only use T1 warriors. That way, if they, when they, if they attack you, they, you only lose T1s. It's pretty cheap to get them back. If you, if you farm off tile, they'll kill everything, and you'll keep losing troops. Some more survival tips. Minimize the world chat conversations. Make a line account to talk openly on b between your server. If the other server is good, they're already in your, in your server, in your clan, in your horde. They're, they're watching you already as soon as the merge starts. Uh, my opinion only, American and European players, they band together. South American players will band together. Uh, China dominates most of the servers in Brutal Age. If you get matched up with a China server, you either have to prove that you can play really fast or you'll methodically get hunted. Uh, it's really important. They're, they are very uh, hard on, on foreigners. Unless you are very very good, if you get matched with an Arabic server, they seem to be very reasonable. Just don't ever double cross them, or you'll be in a long long war. 
That's just what I've seen in my obser observation. So timing is everything. These are a few tips that I have. Don't build troops all week long. If you know that you have server war coming up, save all the resources and build them all during server prep. That way you get all the bonuses for it. Um, remember, always switch your runes before you go into a training. Before you start. Uh, never upgrade your runes unless the rune event is on. Don't do anything unless you're in an event. Because it's really worth just waiting. Never upgrade the runes. Okay, n never upgrade the dragonkin skills unless the dragonkin event is on. Uh, only use real bait during fishing events. Use practice bait all of the times. Use the blue catfish skill, which is that, the, the, the one that's hard to get, to upgrade partner skills. And don't use your five-star partners. Use them to advance your artifacts. That's actually a pretty big point that I've just learned myself. Uh, try to upgrade at least 23 stars to four stars every week. Uh, and we can't emphasize this enough. Make sure you make your three stars into four stars as often as possible. And my last little random tip. Farm only with T1. T1 warriors are probably the best. Also, if you want to get really good speed ups and um, healing materials, build 100,000 T1 and have someone else in the server. Attack them while you're on a resource. Uh, you'll lose a little bit of power, but you'll get a ton of resources and, and uh, speed ups for it. I have a lot of people ask me about money. What would I, you know, spending money? What, what would I do? What's the best way to, to go about making purchases? This is what I would do. Uh, first, I don't invest in any game or hobby if, if I'm just going to quit it. So I know if I know I'm going to play for at least a year, then at that point, then I will invest in the game. Um, I want to get the most for my money. So in Brutal Age, I would make 13 purchases if you're a new person. Uh, one is a yearly subscription to Privileges. Privileges is for the partners. It's $100, but you get partner improving items 365 times for the $99. It's well worth it. Uh, the second is a $19.99 a month. It's called the month card, fittingly. It also gives you gems and other resources every single day for the entire month. Those two, those two, Between those two things, you'll have just a ton of resources in the mailbox every single day. You have to log in every day to get it though. So, moving on. Got a couple unique looks at the clan monster. Got a couple people that beat it. I didn't even know you could beat it. So guess who the MVP of this battle would be? You'd think it'd be Red Arsa. One of the, if not one of the best. Or, the Red God of Earth. But even with two Ursas and the Red God of Earth, you know, he, he uh, she usually dies on, on after the, the monster's been hit 40 times, then he'll he'll attack and do like 100,000 damage to everyone. But no, it's Green Rudolph. Uh, Green Rudolph has the Rampage ability. She steals the action bar from the clan monster so well that, uh, number one, Juicy kills the giant. Juicy is the, re this is the replay of Juicy from 323. Um, I still haven't killed one. And number two, the giant got like three or four attacks off the entire match. He went the entire second half of this match and never got a, a shot off. Uh, it was amazing. So, uh, Green Rudolph, pretty impressive. I kind of went the other way with it, and I thought that um, giving someone, having a, a leader that has a huge boost would get the everyone's attack up really high, because I'm trying to race it and get done before the 40th. Uh, b before he gets to the, the whatever giant 40 is power of giant or something like that I'm trying to read it on this tiny screen and it didn't work so something there's something to uh, keep keep an eye on if you if you get green Rudolph definitely hold on to her because she'll give you an advantage in for the clan monster it's a pretty big deal reason is wait to see the, the resources that you get and, and uh, this is something that I believe you get three attacks a day on if your clan's good you get three a day you'll definitely get two a day from the regular clan monster so here's another great example of using kind of an offbeat partner to get the job done you wouldn't think that Green Rudolph would be uh, an elite partner when it comes to the clan monster but but she really is and, and check out the rewards for this 20 chests total all those five stars, five five star line war patterns. And here's another clan monster beat. And, you know, it was absolutely unheard of to beat the clan monster as far as I knew. It shows you how much I know. <laughs> Good example of what Easy knows. But I got two replays of the clan monster going down in one day. Uh, this is from server 308. The account was on Maximo. It's also known as Fulkin Max. 
good friend of mine. By looking at this team, you'd think that Maximo would be doing the same thing that I do, trying to race to the giant has 40 hits on it because at that 40th he's going to do 100,000 damage to everyone 100,000 plus so you really want to try to beat him before that happens that's what I thought at least but so far both times both of these replays that I've seen neither one of them that happens in so this is what happens when you have a max red nomad king and what he can do I believe the, the big hits coming up here and there everyone goes down that was a 102,000 damage but, not to the Nomad King, oh, Max Nomad King, not Third Awakened. <laughs> I knew that. So you see him going toe-to-toe, -to -toe and you, now, Nomad King is not known for high health. Most people build him with low hit point, high damage, and they use him with the Red Ghost. So you kind of overlook part of his biggest skills. Biggest skill is definitely Ever Victorious. It's the ultimate ability. This gives Red Nomad King the, the retaliation ability. We all know about the retaliation. Uh, it's 50% of the time he counterattacks. But an even bigger part of Ever, Ever Victorious, especially in this case here, is that the Red Nomad King can never take more than 35% of his own hit point and damage. So this takes away that 100,000 damage attack from the giant. Then, I, I don't have any visual for it, but if you use the Ian War pattern, every time the Red Nomad King attacks, he gets health back. And using this particular artifact, which is the, the root of your drizzle, I don't know how to say it. Every time the Red Nomad King receives 5% of his total health and damage, he gets 7% of the action bar back, so he's attacking a lot more. And who, look at what he is. Hey, Red. Oh, I was going to say Red Blonde. My green Rudolph, I don't have green. I kind of fed it to red Rudolph. I thought red was better. <laughs> Whoops. Haven't got one since, but uh, where's where's the green blonde? Hmm. I have been looking for unique battles. Oh, more from Pokemax. The old line. Mm. Well, don't have much time, so we're not going to be able to actually show the whole replay, but we do have another entire video coming up. It has all of the Revive partners. We're calling it the Great Revival. And we'll have the replay with the double double red, double green ghost. We've got a bunch of cool attacks in the, in the upcoming video. Also coming up, we are getting ready to build part two or three of the partner series, the fabulous four stars. Oh, and also something to look forward to is my attack on my own server for the first time the fly 308 I'm gonna attack him and kill him and post it on YouTube because he's really pissing me off attacks me every day for no damn reason some good news appreciate everyone for watching especially if you're still watching to at the end till next time it's been easy take care everybody Thank mm -hmm. you.